Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salam, Allah the Exalted, has said about the people of Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salam, Then why was there not a town that believed, so that its belief might have profited it, except the people of Yunus? When they believed, we removed from them the chastisement of degradation in the life of this world, and we gave them comfort for a while. Surah Yunus, verse 98. Allah has also said, And as to Zunnun, recall when he went away enraged, and he thought we could have no power over him. Then he cried in the depths of darkness, There is no God but you, glory be to you. Surely I have been of the evildoers. So we answered him, and delivered him from grief. And thus do we deliver the believers. Surah Anbiya verses 87 to 88. According to the exegetes, Allah sent Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salam to the people of Nenwa or Nineveh in the land of Musa. He invited them to the path of Allah, but they belied him and continued on the path of disbelief and obstinacy. When this went on for a long time, Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salam went away from them after cautioning them that the punishment of Allah will seize them in three days. Ibn Mas'ud, Mujahid, Sa'id bin Jubair, and Qatada rahimahumullah, and more than one of the earliest scholars assert that when he departed from them, confident in his mind that they would be seized with punishment, Allah put into their hearts that they should repent and feel sorry for the way they had treated their Prophet. They put on scarves, separated their cattle from their youngs, and turned to Allah. They wept and cried and made humble supplications to Allah. Men and women, mothers and their children, all joined together in ardent prayer. They were humility personified. The cattle and the variety of the animals mooed and bellowed, and the camels growled and grumbled, and the goats and lambs bleated. It was a great, grave, terrifying hour. The punishment was overhead. Suddenly, Allah removed it from them through His mercy, grace, and favor. It was the distinction of the people of Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salam that punishment was removed from them and they were safe. But scholars differ on whether their repentance would benefit them in the hereafter or not, as it had benefited them in this life. From the context of the Qur'an, the answer to the question is yes. But Allah has also said, And we sent him unto a hundred thousand or more, and they believed, so we let them have comforts for a while. Surah as safat verses 147 to 148. This respite for a while will not ward off punishment from them in the next world, but Allah knows best. Returning to Sayyidina Yun